Hey, hey, this is Jacob Koski back again, and I'm going to do the first of my find videos. Uh, basically, this stuff either I've picked up at yard sales or pawn shops or at my local gaming store. First thing uh, is basically. It's a laser tag set. One, well, it's a one player kit, but it's for one player. Has the gun with the holster. It's got the, the harness. It's got the little chest piece thing. Basically, a complete set. It works. I ended up getting it at my local gaming store. The guy who, you know, I'm friends with the manager there, didn't want it anymore. He just wants to throw it out. And I was like, you know, I'll take it, whatever. So, I ended up getting that. There's some other stuff he's going to throw out as well. Next, you know, Tony Hawk ride skateboard for the Wii. Got some scuffs on the back, but you know, it's a little, well, broke more dirty than anything else, but it's not in bad shape. It works. The thing is, someone brought it in, carried it in without the adapter, and he tested it, and it works. But instead of buying another adapter from somewhere, he was just going to throw it out, so. I ended up getting it and taking it. So then there's a rock band PS3 wireless guitar. Same situation. So just ordering another adapter, he was just wanting to throw that one out. So I took it as well. And then the last thing, stuff that I got from him for free that he's going to throw out. And Atari 5200 controller. You know. That one. I can't remember if he said he was. He didn't have the system or if he had too many controllers or something like that. But he's just going to throw it out. So I figured I'd take it as well. And for the most part, that's the free stuff that I got. Not anything real big but decent stuff. Next they picked up some old NES games and a couple other games as well. It's like a Super Nintendo N64 game but but they ended up trading changing how they do their in-store credit. So so they're being able to use it to order stuff and things like that now, like they used to have. Because where I play World of Warcraft, I used to just order, you know, trade stuff in, and then use the credit to get like a one of the 60-day time cards. But they've changed that now, so I can't do that. I had like thirty dollars in credit left over, so I picked up some NES games and stuff. Basically, the ones I ended up getting were like the ones in the box, boxes and stuff, things like that. So, the first one is Blades of Steel for the NES. Not a you know, big game, but like I said, it was complete in box. Came with the came with the manual. Sleeve, you know, came with all of that in it. It's like, I think, six dollars for the entire thing. So, wasn't that wasn't that bad a deal? I don't think. Could have been better. I think I got ten percent off of it or something like that. So, and then the next one. Is 
track and field two. And this one, the box is actually in really good shape for it being a cardboard box and all. You know, it's not a big game, you know, like Mario or Zelda or anything like that. But, you know, once again, as the manual game and the sleeve and all that. And this one I actually ended up getting free due to the stores buy two get one free deal that had going on. I ended up getting six games in total, so and then the next one is Astionics. I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure, but and, you know, part is in really good condition, as you can see. Nothing wrong with it. This one doesn't have the instruction manual. It does have a few, have a couple of promo things with it as well. This one was one that caught my attention as well, mostly because I had I had actually never heard of this game. But you know, the box itself is really in really good condition. You know, looks like it's almost brand new, just about without with some a couple spots there on the side. But you know, nothing major. And then the last of the NES games is a game called King's Knights. It's another one I had not heard of. And it's I tried it out a little bit. It's not too bad. It's not one that I would really play cartridge is getting a little dirt and stuff right here. But, you know, for the most part looks good. Box is a little beat up. Not sure if this is if this is a rare game or not. But like I said, it's just some stuff that I picked up. And you know I actually want to try to get into collecting some of the NES games, so you know, that was basically the start of them. And you know, I'm hoping to get some more, you know, as time goes on. But that's basically just the start of it right there. One of the uh, other two games I ended up getting, one was a Super Nintendo game, Battle Clash. was a little pissed off when I actually got home and opened this. The game wasn't in it. But, you know, I did call the guy, talk to him. He does have the actual cart at the store, so basically all I have to do is just go pick up the cart itself. But, you know, basically, I didn't get the chance to play this. It's one of the games you need the super scope thing for, and I just never had it, so. But, you know. He's got the cart for it. I just gotta go get it. So, and then the last one is a perfect dark for the N64. I think this one was like eight bucks or something. But it has the instruction manual. It has the cart as well. Although, to be perfectly honest, the cart's not in the best shape. And when I was looking at it, I noticed one of the little pins, or whatever they are in there, that one of them is missing. But, like I said, I talked to the guy after I got it. He basically told me to just bring it, by, bring it back over there, and he'd replace it. So, I'm not sure if that actually affects how it plays or anything, but... 
you know, I figured, you know, better safe than sorry on that one. And then that's pretty much it for the video game stuff. I've got a couple of DVDs and one other thing. This I actually found at a yard sale here a couple of weeks ago. It's a Dungeons and Dragons, well, D and D book. Diablo II: The Awakening. Basically, it's a way for you to play the actual Diablo Diablo II games as a version of the, as a D and D version instead of on the computer. But it basically has everything you need. Tells you everything you need for it. Explains everything, but I never really got into D and D, so you know. But it was like two bucks for it and the strategy guide. I art on. I was like, mm -hmm. I have the game. Don't have the strategy guide. I'll take it. So I don't know if it's really worth anything. I don't know how rare it is. If it's rare at all, but I figured two dollars, not a bad deal. And then last, I got some DVDs I picked up at the pawn shop about too long ago. The first one, yes, it's a kid's movie, but for how much I gave for it, you know, I can't say too much. Um, the Lion King one and a half. You know, I've actually watched this a couple of times with my nephew in a while. It's not real bad, but, you know, and it, basically I was just getting it for him, and, you know, he's actually got the actual movie disc, and he's got it with my mom and her van, he watches it whenever he's with her, but it basically had both discs, you know, wasn't that bad of a deal. I gave a dollar for it. So, but after I bought it, got it for him, he told me he didn't like the Lion King. So that's just something else I can use to trade in somewhere. And then the last one is a Ghostbusters collection DVD. Basically, the first and second movie. I guess the same place I got it. it was like a dollar as well, so not not bad for both of them. But, but anyway, that's pretty much all of it. And you know, go on, leave a comment, leave comments down below, tell me what you think. And you know, this basically the first video like this. Um, Eddie suggestions on anything to do better, you know, just leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.